Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on stable sorting and unstable sorting in data structures and design and analysis of algorithms course. Consider an integer array that is int a of 10. Okay, here the array size is 10. It contains 10 integers. The 10 integers are not sorted. So then that type of array is called as unsorted array. Okay, we are using one sorting algorithm. By using that sorting algorithm, we can sort all the elements of the array. Okay, so here these are the 10 elements of the given integer array indexed from 0 to 9. The elements are 35, 33, 42, 10, 14, 19, 26, 44, 26, 31. We are using some sorting algorithm. By using that sorting algorithm, we can sort all the elements of the given integer array. Okay. So, after sorting, these are the elements in the given array. So, this is before sorting and this is after sorting. Okay. If a sorting algorithm does not change the sequence of similar elements in which they appear, then that type of sorting is called as stable sorting. So, so in this uh, before sorting of the integer array, what are the similar contents here? 26 here 26. So these are the similar contents. Okay. What is the index of 26? That is a 6. What is the index of 26? Here that is 8. Okay. So after applying the sorting algorithm on the unsorted array, we are getting these sorted elements. Okay. So if a sorting algorithm does not change the sequence of similar elements in which they appear. Okay, here this 26 is here and this 26 is here. Okay, here what is the sequence we have to follow? So 26 index is 6, here 26 index is 8 before sorting. After applying the sorting algorithm, once we are sorting all the elements of the given array, here uh, 26 here is there, here 26 here is there. This 26 index is 3 and this 26 index is 4. Okay, so here the sequence, the sequence is not changing. Okay, this 26 comes first after sorting, this 26 comes uh, later after sorting. Okay, so here first this 26 is occurred, next this 26 is occurred. Okay, if a sorting algorithm does not change the sequence of similar elements in which they appear, first this 26 is occurred, next this 26 is occurred. Okay, so suppose this can be taken as for example A and this can be taken as B. Okay, after sorting all the elements of the given array, okay, also same sequence we have to maintain. This 26 is this A, this 26 is B. Here A, B sequence is there for the similar contents in the given integer array before sorting. Okay, the same sequence A, B sequence is also maintained after sorting the all the elements of the given array. That type of sorting is called as stable sorting. Here 26, 26, these are the similar elements. Okay, what is the sequence of this 26, this 26? Here A, here B, A, B sequence. The same sequence is also maintained after sorting all the elements of the given array by using a sorting algorithm. Here the same sequence is also maintained. This A comes first, uh, next B comes later. Okay, so this type of sorting algorithm is called as stable sorting. 
Okay. Next one is unstable sorting. Okay. If a sorting algorithm can change the sequence of similar elements in which they appear, then that type of sorting is called as unstable sorting. Okay. Here I am taking the same integer array. Its size is 10. It contains 10 elements that are not sorted. Okay. So these are the elements of the given array. So these elements are not sorted. Index starts with 0. Index ends with 9. Okay. Here what are the similar contents here? Uh, this is 26 and 26 are the similar contents. So this can be denoted by A and this can be denoted by B. Okay. What is the sequence of similar content in the given array? First A is appeared. After that B is appeared. Now we are using some sorting algorithm for sorting all the elements of the given array. Okay. After sorting these are the uh, elements we are getting. Okay. So now this 26 is this one and this 26 is this one. Here this 26 means this is a B and this is a A. Okay. So before sorting what is the sequence of similar contents? First A is occurred. After that B is occurred. A value is also 26. B value is also 26. After sorting. Okay. First B is occurred, next A is occurred. Okay, so if a sorting algorithm can change the sequence of similar contents in which they appear after sorting, then that type of sorting is called as unstable sorting. Okay, only uh, the similar content, the similar elements in the given array Whatever the sequence is followed, the same sequence is not followed after sorting the given elements of the array after sorting. Okay, that type of sorting is called as unstable sorting. Okay, whereas in the case of stable sorting, okay, if a sorting algorithm does not change the sequence of similar elements, uh, in which they appear after sorting. Then that type of sorting is called as stable sorting. Here 26, 26 are the similar elements of the given array. This 26 can be denoted by A and this 26 can be denoted by B. Before sorting, what is the sequence of the similar contents? Similar elements A and B. So after sorting, all the elements of the given array by using some sorting algorithm, the same sequence is also maintained. First A is occurred, after that B is occurred. A value is also 26, B value is also 26. Okay, the sequence does not change by the sorting algorithm in which they appear after sorting. Then that type of sorting is called as stable sorting. This is the simple example and definitions of stable and unstable sorting. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, the well, Srinivasa.